Hi guys, Amy here with your sweet Valentine swag. Hope everybody's doing good and staying warm. I'm trying to pass some Florida sunshine your way. Um, let's go over what's in your Valentine swag this month. And it starts with our new dab gel system, which is a really cool, really opaque gel pigment. And when put on with your dab tool, you can get a really cool airbrushed look. We're using all of our ghost patterns with these, but basically you can use any stencil, any tape, anything with um, edges to it to create some really awesome designs. So in your swag, you got your red and your white dab gel, a magic matte top coat, which is new and improved. It is a no wipe top uh, matte top coat. And then you got your tool that came with a couple extra tips. So I have already put some gel polish on these three guys. I have not put the matte top coat on yet. So I'm going to do that now. This is a really important step because it really um, not only allows the gel pigment to adhere better but it stays and it doesn't slide if you're doing this on a like a slick surface like over outshine or over gel polish it's not going to grab the same and you're not going to get that airbrushed kind of shaded chalky look that you should be getting so let's start by just putting on some matte top coat nice thin coat it's a 30 second cure so we're going to do this on all three. And don't mind my thumbnail. I just now saw that. We were just doing a little stamping live. And while those are curing, I'm going to just wipe that thumb with some acetone. It's a little distracting, don't you think? <laughs> so again, 30 second cure on those. And we have a nice chalky finish. Like I said, it's no wipe, so you don't have to do anything to the surface. I'm also going to get this out of the way because I feel like we keep um, it keeps refocusing onto that. All right, we're all cleaned up now. I still have not mastered the art of stamping and staying clean, apparently. All right, so now that we've got all of our tips, I'm gonna turn these this way. And we're gonna take our dab tool, right? We've got our gel. Now, you do not need a lot of this gel, you just need a little bit. So let's take this background and we're gonna kind of just do a quick little ombre. And what you're gonna do is just go in. I just grabbed a little bit. And then I'm using my plastic back table towels. And you're just kind of filling the sponge, but you're also taking out because you don't want a lot. You just want a tiny bit. So either if you're using a palette or whatever you're using, you just wanna take some of that pigment out. And now I'm just gonna press onto the tip and same. So just keep pressing until you get the opacity that you're looking for. I just wanted a light fade on the tip. So I'm not using too much color. So once you're happy, you're gonna to wanna to throw this in the UV light and cure it. Even a flash cure will be fine. Okay, so make sure you don't get your dab tool in the gel light. It is gel pigment, so it will cure in your sponge. So keep it away from the light. And looks like this is all ready to go. So also in your swag, you got the heart ghost patterns. We're gonna use those to create our design on top of our fade. So I'm just gonna cut one of the pieces off of the ghost pattern. And then we are just gonna peel off 
and you can see that the inside shapes stay. You can always use those for stickers or decals or whatever on top of designs, so I always keep those. It's weird, some of the ghost patterns come with it and some come without, but it's very easy when you peel it, they stay on the sheet. So go ahead and place that right on the nail. I wanted to get some more of the big hearts. And then we're gonna go back in with our tool. We're gonna gra grab a little bit of the red. And again, just really press that out. You can start to see how it starts to look really light and chalky and that's really what you're going for. You don't wanna go in with too much pigment. And once you think you've got really good coverage, you're just going to easily peel that off. And I say easily because they are so, so sticky. If you just go in and rip it, you're going to rip the whole uh, uh, ghost pattern, but you want to be able to reuse them. So just go in, peel it off pretty easy. And we've got a nice little overla overlaid design. Like I said, with the ombre underneath, it almost looks airbrushed. And we're just going to top coat that. Now I do cure in between layers, especially if you're using a, like we used our ghost pattern, because it's sticky, it would peel off some of that ombre. So that's why I cured that. But going over top like this, you don't have to cure that red first. It's not gonna drag or move. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do this design. And we started with the white tip, we already put the matte top coat on, and we're just gonna use the bigger hearts from the ghost pattern. And you can see the little tip on the sponge. I'm gonna use that side of the sponge and just kind of isolate where I'm dabbing. And we're just gonna keep repeating that. And it's gonna pick up a little bit in the little hearts, which is okay, because it kind of makes it look, look like dots in between the big hearts which I'm okay with. Again, we're just gonna keep repeating this step. Now we're just gonna put it in the UV light for 30 seconds. Okay, so now that has cured and we're gonna go back in with a little bit lighter red, more of a pink, and we're gonna do the exact same steps and just place the hearts, some of them on top of each other, some of them in the white spaces. Okay, so this is ready to top coat. Again, you can go right over the dab gel with it. It's not gonna pull or anything and just in the light. And we're gonna cure that for 60 seconds. All right, our next design is going to be this one here. Kind of looks like stained glass. And this one we started with the white tip again. We've already got the Magic Matte top coat on. I'm gonna just kinda use all these colors that we've created and I'm gonna do this with a piece of masking tape. And we're gonna use this to get the lines that we um, wanna kinda layer over each other. So basically you're just placing the tape down, which apparently is going to be the hardest part of this design. and just kind of wrap it. It'll be easier when you're doing this on a client because you won't be actually holding the tip stick. But again, same thing, we're just dabbing on the paint, or the, I should say the pigment, and then we're just gonna peel that off. And I am going to cure in between each one of these because I don't want the masking tape to pull up any of the gel pigment off of the parts that I've already dabbed. So we're gonna make sure that we do cure in between. 
So we're just going to keep repeating these steps, placing the tape down and dabbing on our pigment. We're going to do this over and over and we're going to kind of change the color back and forth. We'll do a little bit of a darker red and then we'll go into a lighter pink and we'll just keep layering this on top of each other. And once again, when you're happy with your design, we're just going to put our top coat over it and we're going to give it a full 30 second cure. And our next design that we're gonna do is going to be like this one here with the gel pigment around the edge of the tip and then the design in the center. We are gonna use white since we have a red tip that we're working on. Again, we're going to just go in and grab some white and then just take some of that pigment off and kind of spread it out nice and evenly through the tip of the applicator. And you can tell when you go in if you have too much on there or not enough. So that's one side. And see how evenly and consistently it grabs around all the edges? That's why I love this and I love that it kind of fades perfectly and gives us that cool airbrushed look. And we'll go right up around the cuticle area. Kind of fade everything nice and evenly. And just like before, once you're happy, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the UV light and we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna use the ghost patterns again. This time I'm gonna choose the other style so it's um, more consistent instead of hearts floating around. This is more of a pattern. And we're just gonna peel that off. There we go. Again, keep those stickers, keep the centers for some design work or if you just want to add a little bling. And we're going to place this right on and we're going to go and do the same thing we did before. And I'm going to stick with white so it looks like it fades, the design fades around the edges. And then just gently peel so that you can reuse and look how perfect and easy. And we're going to top coat this and give it a cure for 60 seconds. And last, I want to show you one of my favorite things about this new dab gel system is how easy a pink and white ombre can be. So we are going to use one of my favorite colors, which is Sweet Talker. It's a really, really light pink. It's uh, got a little bit of beiginess to it, uh, similar to our Undercover Agent. 
but it's a great natural French color. So we're gonna put two coats of this on. I'm gonna cure each coat. Now both coats are cured and we are gonna put on our Magic Matte Top and we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. So I am gonna change the tip because I don't want any red or pink on my ombre. So I'm just gonna easily take these out and slide in a new sponge. These are fairly easy to keep clean, guys. Just dip it in some alcohol. I wouldn't fully submerge it, just dab it in alcohol and then dab it out on like a paper towel. That'll clean out enough pigment so that you can keep reusing these sponges. So again, we're just dabbing on some white and making sure it's nice and even in the sponge. And then we're gonna go right on and dab on a beautiful ombre. And of course you can do this with any color, but usually a pink and white ombre is one of the hardest to ombre and to make look clean. So this is a great easy way to do it. And keep it so consistent. Perfect. Again, you don't have to cure this before you put your top coat on. So just go right in with your top coat and look how perfect that pink and white ombre is. And that took hardly any time at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today using our fabulous new dab gel system. I'm excited to see the designs that you guys come up with. So please tag us on Instagram, profiles underscore nails, and on Facebook, profiles nails. Hope you guys have a fabulous Valentine's Day. I did upload the rest of the colors of the dab gel system, and there are 12 in all. The silver and the gold are to die for. So make sure you guys check that out, and have a great week.